Morning, friends. I'm glad to be with you this day as we offer a prayer about country. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, as we pray this morning, we pray about country. We recognizing that we are entering into a wonderful new chapter in the history of our democracy. We pray about how loving one another as citizens of our country is a fundamental concept of loving one another. We realize that loving often means sacrifice. We realize that loving often means acting in the best interest of another rather than ourselves. In our Pledge of Allegiance, we pray about one nation under God with liberty and justice for all. Friends, as we pray this morning, I want you to think about what true love of country is. I invite you to separate it from the political rhetoric that often obfuscates the true meaning of the concept. I want you to think about how your politics and your personal beliefs and interests affect your ability to express true love for your country. Dear Lord, as we continue in prayer, we continue to pray for our country when our prayers may be needed like never before. Help us to understand what true love of country is, unlike love of party or cause. We recognize that if we truly love our country and all that it stands for, we must find how to love one another. Help us, Heavenly Father, to a realization that love of country and love of our fellow citizens is one and the same. Former President Barack Obama said this, what is required of us now is a new era of responsibility, a recognition on the part of every American that we have duties to ourselves, our nation, and the world. Duties we do not grudgingly accept, but rather seize gladly, firm in the knowledge that there is nothing so satisfying to the spirit, so defining of our character, than giving our all to a difficult task. Amen. Friends, our reading for today comes from the book of Isaiah, from the 61st chapter, verses 8 through 11. For I, the Lord, love justice. I hate robbery and wrongdoing. I will faithfully give them their recompense, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them. Their descendants shall be known among the nations and their offspring among the peoples. All who see them shall acknowledge that they are a people whom the God has blessed. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord, my whole being exalt in my God, for he has clothed me with the garments of salvation, and he has covered me with the robe of righteousness, as a bridegroom decks himself with a garland, and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. For as the earth brings forth its shoots, and as a garden causes what is sown to spring up, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring up before all of the nations. Friends, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed, safe, and wonderful day. And may God bless America. Amen.